Because actually, when I looked at them, and, and you're right, I did feel like that when I looked at um, these people who, who were, you know, there's nothing sort of bad about it. They just didn't, you know, there wasn't that connection between the military and political sort of systems, if you like. And we saw the symptoms of that through Iraq, Afghanistan, mm. you know, whether it's equipment, whether it's uh, tactics, you know, leaving too early and so on. But I thought, you know, if I really want to change something, I'm going to have to get elected. Whatever I say, they have the power to make executive decisions because they're elected. And so if I want to make a decision or I want to change something, I'm going to have to get elected too, whether that is the military or whether it's mental health or whether it's linked to Plymouth, uh, where I'm from. Um, and those sorts sort of coalesce in your mind. Um, and look, it wasn't a pleasant realisation that I was going to become a member of Parliament. It's not something I thought about. And there's certainly aspects of it that are pretty difficult to get your head around. It's not about the politics. It's not about getting a career in politics. Right? It's actually about using politics as a vehicle to get things done. And then when you actually believe in something and you want to change it and you genuinely think that actually you can change it as well, that's, that's why you do it. So that commitment is huge.